So, um, before and after the video, um, my crotch is being attacked. My dick is being attacked. Um, before I was making the video, um, earlier today, uh, my dick was getting nudged. It was not in any state of arousal. It did not become aroused. But they were literally hitting it. You know, part of the electrolyzer or whatever type of direct energy weapon or whatever it is that they use literally can cause a force against you. It can literally push you to the side. So you can be walking down a sidewalk and it can literally push you off the sidewalk or you have to make considerable effort to walk straight. Um, it can also you know be something that like works behind you to where it actually would get you your gait and your walk to be faster and you know have a longer gait and to uh it kind of feels like you're on one of those walking escalators or um i forgot what tig called it um she called it by i think a brand name uh like a movie later or something like that but those 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 flat escalators like that like you see in airports it feels like that or it could be used to be pushed against you and it feels like you're walking against like a 90 mile per hour wind without any wind sensation. It's just the force against it. Um, or it can be used to be pushed down upon you, your entire body. It feels like you're being pushed, which is what they're doing to me right now. It really feels like someone's standing on me. Um, uh, it feels like there's about, I don't know, 50 or 60 pounds of pressure being pushed down on my shoulders right now. And some on my head. They can also narrow that beam. I assume it's a wide beam. It could be just multiple beams that they make up a, like a you know single beam, but um, uh, or they can narrow it, or just choose one of them, to a very specific pinpoint, and it can feel like someone's jabbing their thumb into your back or stabbing you in the back with a knife. They can also make it feel like an electrified knife, or they can make it feel like there's needles going through you. Um, before the last incident that happened a couple weeks ago, two or three weeks ago, um, which is why I, I moved, um, uh, it felt like there were electric needles going, electrified needles, like going through my gums, through my teeth, through my jaws, and my, the right side of my face actually swelled up at the hospital. And there's not going to be any record of that because they're just going to put, uh, they're going to put uh, meth induced or drug induced uh, a psychosis. Uh, and maybe paranoid schizophrenic or something like that. I'm not schizophrenic. I'm an, I'm a schizophrenic uh, from a man-made source from Voice of Skull. But I guess I'll get back to you today. But uh, uh, but, that, but uh, part of their attacks, instead of just shocking you, it can literally feel like it have it can feel like a frostbite sensation right now. They're freezing my feet. Um, I have a heater. I turned it off just now, but I have a heater right here. And I also had the stove. I'm in the trailer right now. I had the stove going uh, on earlier in there too. So it's uh, it's not cold in here at all. And my feet feel like they're freezing right now. It feels like there's a wind passing literally through my feet, a freezing wind. I remember when I looked up the electrolyzer when I was looking into direct energy weapons, uh, which is something that local law enforcement and the government and military actually have. Um, depends on your area of the country, whether or not that's available in your area. Um, uh, to the military or to the government or to the police, but certainly not to private citizens unless they're friends with some of these people uh, um, or a henchman or whatever. But uh, uh, when I looked up the electrolyzer, uh, when I finally found out about it, it's just one type of direct energy weapon that police, uh, the, uh, the local law enforcement and military and government have. Um, they said that the spokesperson for it said like, oh, we've added a, a freezing burn sensation or a cooling burn sensation or something like that, or a burning freeze. I can't remember what the, the exact terms were, but it's basically like a frostbite sensation. And I was like, oh, they just started using that on me a few months ago. And that was like, I don't know, a year and a half ago or two years ago that I looked that up. Or maybe longer ago than that. I'm not sure. But when I saw that, I was like, huh, I don't know. And I was like, great. They're developing this. They're enhancing this as I'm going through these attacks. So that's wonderful, but they're doing that to my feet right now, and they've, uh, they're also doing it to my crotch as well. So it feels like there is a cool wind, even though there is literally I don't have the I don't have the fan or the um, heater on, um, and it's trailers, a ceiling fan or anything like that. There's no door open. 
there's literally no wind in here at all. Um, it feels like there is a freezing wind blowing on my crotch. It subsided a little bit right now, but there it was uh, when I started talking about it, they were doing it. And when I started this video, they were doing it to my crotch quite heavily. It subsided a little bit right now, but they're still pressing against it. It feels like there's like a hand pressing against my crotch. Literally like the fabric has been pushed against it. When they've done it to me, when they push down on my shoes sometimes, I can literally, oops, it's kind of dark over there. I was going to pace back and forth. But when they've done it on my feet, it literally feels like someone is like stepping, like when I'm wearing shoes, it literally feels like someone is stepping on the shoes, like someone's standing on the shoes with their weight pressing down. And I can literally feel the, the inside roof of the shoe cave in onto my feet. So it's not just a dad, it's not just a sensation of pressure against my body. It is literally a force being pushed down against not just my body, but everything on my body. When they did this to me in jail, I, uh, I literally would like whip the sheets up and let it like, you know, come down kind of like parachute sort of like sometimes like, you know, when you're making the bed or when you're in the bed and you just like go, you go, and like with both hands, <laughs> I'm holding the camera with my other hand. Um, it, you know, it, it, will, like, it creates like a little parachute almost and then kind of goes like that. When they were doing this type of attack to me, the sheet would instantly fall down as if there was a weight on it. And it was very noticeable. And it wasn't just a misperception or just like a, a wrong perception of it. It was straight down and it clinged to my body on both sides. So there wasn't even like a slope of like, you know, what, you know, what, where the sheet would normally slope off your body and then onto the bed or onto the mattress or the sheet, the fitted sheet. Um, well, not that they had fitted sheets, but we kind of made fitted sheets out of the blankets or out, out of a second sheet, even though it wasn't fitted. Um, uh, it would literally, and again, this is a sheet, not the blanket. This is just a, a sheet and they're very thin in jail very thin so it would actually normally come down even more and i've done it since then like at other times and yeah it does come down normally but this would come straight down and it would just cling to my body almost like i was uh being like vacuum sealed into it uh and again like when they do it to my feet i literally feel the roof of the shoe caving in onto my foot when they do it when i'm wearing the steel-toed boots that i have now and they're, they're the only shoes that i have now um the steel-toed boots they literally push down on that and I can literally, I don't know if it's the steel toe pushing into it or if it's like, they can do like an attack where it feels like something's like slicing into you um, with the electro laser. It feels like sometimes they used to do it when I was at the Grove over two years ago, uh, almost three years ago now, like two and a half years ago and beyond in 2017, the beginning of two, the first half of 2017, they would, it would literally feel like somebody was like slicing through my foot. Like, 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 literally, like, you know, feel like, you know, you can see my feet, but it literally would feel like someone was, like, like, taking a knife, an electrified knife or a laser and going like that. And it really feel like someone was cutting off the, fir the, the front half of my foot. It was very painful. Along with the shocks when they would go, lift your feet off the floor. And then I would be like, what? And zap, 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 zap on my feet. Like, literally, like, like almost some, like someone was taking one of like those hand tasers like from Die Hard 2 when she like shocked that guy in the, the reporter in the bathroom like it literally felt like someone was taking those to the bottoms of my feet uh and sometimes to the toes and and sometimes to the toes and uh there there should be footage of me in jail actually from that public intoxication event in which I wasn't on anything uh and I didn't even know I was being arrested. <laughs> they even tell me I was under arrest. Um, uh, in the third jail cell that they moved me to. Or no, the second jail cell that they moved me to. Um, but shock, 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 shock. I'm literally like jumping up and jumping onto like the bench that's in there. Um, but... Uh, but... Uh, so like they've been doing that to me since the video rather than doing the nudges, which again, if, uh, if, if, if you have nipples, if you have a penis, if you have a vagina, if you have testicles, if you have an asshole, if you have any of those, 
you know when someone is touching them. You know when they've been touched. You know when a force has been applied to it. So whenever I do the videos called the electric nipple tweak that they do, or when I say that it feels like my balls are being crushed or my balls are being zapped, or my penis is being zapped or being pushed on, and now they're increasing the pressure to my crotch. It literally feels like someone is going, like pushing down hard on, on my crotch. Um, there's not a disease that makes you feel that. This is not a nerve thing. I can put my hand here, and my hand feels a pressure pushing down on it. There is a slight pulsation to it, although I don't, I don't feel that pulsation on my crotch. A lot of times when I put my hand over my head when they're attacking my head or the back, like now they're hitting my back now really hard. So now it feels like someone's pounding my back without the actual pounds, but like it's like one continuous like pound. That's what it feels like. Um, whenever I do that and I feel it with my hand, a lot of times they'll change the sensation so they'll make it even worse or they'll make it different because they, they just like to do it. And it might not even be the same one that was attacking me. They might have like made that one go away, you know, so it's really hard to even understand if you're actually even blocking the attack because they literally like to make you pretend that certain things that you do block the attack and then they'll actually keep up with it. So it's like, so it was blocking the attack or preventing the attack. But it wasn't, it was only doing that because you were pretending you were leading me on and keeping that up for months or years. And you're like, <laughs> and then like later you reveal, if it hasn't already been revealed, that like, oh, that may not be an actual defense to that. That may just be like a fake defense to that. But then again, it's like, so it is a defense to that. It's like, it's the stupidest thing in the whole world um, beyond all the other stupid, stupid, horrible things that they do. Um, but they're still getting my feet. They're making it feel like they're uh, frostbitten. It feels like there's a wind going through my feet. I don't mean just against it. I mean through it. Um, they're pushing down on that. Now it feels like someone's like stabbing me in the belly right now. Or near my belly button. Close to it. Um, well, I keep wanting to like pace around and talk when I do this. But this uh, mattress is like the edge of its... Uh, it's one of those trailer things. So it's like since it has to be able to slide... It has like the mattress hangs over it, I think, so it can like you know go, and also just like that's I guess so the people don't hit their feet under the, the platform, but then the the downside is like, you like you want to like go and like slide off, but in any case, uh, maybe I'll say Indian style or whatever they call that now, and. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, 